So every year during the MLB season, everyone loves to make prediction on who's going to win the certain awards at the end of the year. Who's going to win MVP? Who's going to win Cy Young, Silver Slugger, Gold Glove, Rookie of the Year? And Rookie of the Year is what we're going to be focusing on today. I have built a team of all players who have won Rookie of the Year in their career. So let's take a look here. At catcher, we are going with Johnny Bench, who won Rookie of the Year in 19. 1968. First base, we have Ryan Howard, who won Rookie of the Year in 2005. In the middle infield, we have Jackie Robinson and Corey Seager, who won Rookie of the Year in 1947 and 2016, respectively. Third base, we're going with Albert Pujols, who won Rookie of the Year in 2001. This is actually his Rookie of the Year card. In right field, we have Tim Salmon, who won Rookie of the Year in 1993. In center, we have to go with Mike Trout, who won Rookie of the Year in 2012. And in left field, we're going with Ronald Acuna Jr., who won Rookie of the Year in 2018. And on the bench here, we have Evan Longoria, Jordan Alvarez, Mike Piazza, Willie Mays, and Willie McCovey, who all won Rookie of the Year and the rotation, we have Dontrell Willis, new legend, who won Rookie of the Year in 2003. That's who we're actually going to be starting in this video. We have Justin Verlander, who won Rookie of the Year in 2006. Fernando Valenzuela, who won in 1981. Tom Seaver, who won in 1967. And Shohei Otani, who won in 2018, along with Acuna. And for the bullpen, unless I missed a name... I think the only Rookie of the Year relievers that we have in the game is Houston Street, who won Rookie of the Year in 2005, Devin Williams, who won Rookie of the Year in 2020, Harry Wood, who won Rookie of the Year in 1998. All right, so this will be Dontrell Willis's debut on the squad as well. I have used him a little bit in the events, but in terms of ranked season, this is going to be his debut. So I figured this would be a fun video, fun way to debut him on this Rookie of the Year team build. So. I do have to say this is not the most comprehensive Rookie of the Year team build. There are some players that I'm missing. I don't have the highest card for some of these players. I have not completed collections. Um, I don't have the stubs to buy the highest overall of every single player. Like I know that the 93 Tom Seaver card just came out. I know a David Justice card just came out. I'm just going with what I have available to me. Go ball, go ball. Oh, Tim Salmon getting us on the board. one nothing. So maybe later in the year, maybe I'll do this video again once we have some more players. We have a whole bunch of 99s. But for now, this is what I'm going with. So in the comments below, who are your guys' favorites to win the NL and AL Rookie of the Year? award right now the american league is going to be a fun race we have jeremy pena who's off to a hot start we have bobby witt jr we've got spencer torkelson julio rodriguez so it's gonna be a really fun rookie of the year race in the american league the national league right now i think seiya suzuki from my cubbies is kind of the favorite and if he continues to play how he has been then i think he's easily gonna win that sir what are we doing? Kind of early in the game for this tomfoolery, don't you think? What is my guy doing? Yeah, so I think the Rookie of the Year race this year is going to be a lot of fun, especially in the American League. So let me know in the comments down below who your favorite is to win in both leagues. No! Well... Kind of an unfortunate way to end that inning. I mean, we did have two base runners that we shouldn't have had, but Tim Salmon did get us on the board with that uh, home run to dead center. All right, Dontrell, we have your date, your ranked debut here. So I'm kind of surprised it's taken SDS so long to get Dontrell Willis in the game because he's been very vocal about wanting to be in the game for years on Twitter. And in case you guys don't know how it works with getting new legends each year, so SDS has a certain amount of money to spend every year to get new legends in the game. And they have to go to these players and say, hey, we would love for you to be in MLB The Show this year. And SDS pays these players for their rights to be in the game. And Dontrell Willis is a big fan of the game. He's been saying for years that he wants to be in the game and that they don't even have to pay him anything. That he will do it for free. And they finally got him in the game this year. And... 
We already got a 91 overall, who's one of the ranked season, one of the World Series awards. And I did not make World Series. I'm not that good. I did get 400 innings played somehow and got the World Series pack that way. And he doesn't look the best, but he looks like he's pretty fun. I mean, he's got a funky delivery. He struck out the side. He has some hitting stats, so maybe we can hit a home run with him. So I was going to use Mike Piazza at catcher because I feel like the offense is just more desired compared to Johnny Bench. But I just completed the band bosses event and got this Johnny Bench card. So I figured I might as well go ahead and use him because there's not really going to be many other chances this year for me to use Johnny Bench. So I figured might as well go ahead and use him, debut him as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, nope, say it first, say it first. So when I was looking at baseball reference, unless it just doesn't date back that far, it kind of looked like that Jackie Robinson was... Oh, we just missed that. I think Jackie Robinson won the very first ever Rookie of the Year. And this was in 1947. This was before they had an American League and a National League Rookie of the Year. He won Rookie of the Year for the entire uh, MLB. Man, we are just early on a lot of pitches here. Our man's throwing a lot of pitches right down the middle. We just have to kind of sit back a little, get our PCI there. I'm not worried. It is a little scary facing Pujols with a lefty, but his batting average is only 170, which means we're about to give up a big dick home run. All right, we got the strikeout anyway. Four up, four strikeouts for Dontrell. There we go, another strikeout. Dontrell is looking very comfortable on the mound right now. I mean, the whole Rocky squad has been kind of performing very well. Six straight strikeouts to start this game for Dontrell Willis. Schwoog. Oh, schwoog. Buddy, why are we quitting? It's 1-0 after two innings. Oh, well, let's get into game number two. All right, Trotty boy. Let's see what you got. Oh, we just missed that. I probably shouldn't be swinging first pitch anyway, but it seems somewhat tempting. So I actually got this idea for this team build with the Moonshot event. Are we going to beat that out? Nice. But I actually got this idea. Oh, Pujols, baby. Oh, now that's that's how you start a ball game. Though I got this idea from the Moonshot event when Tim, Tim Salmon was won the event reward, or when they gave when SDS gave the hint for the reward, they said it was a Rookie of the Year player, and I said, hey, that could be kind of fun. Let me see who's won Rookie of the Year. When I was opening all my packs and I got from the event. I actually got a chase pack from a standard pack, and inside that chase pack was the Rookie of the Year Pujols card. It just seemed like it was meant to be at that point that I needed to do this team build. All right, so we're going with Otani for this game. Okay. Interesting tactic to start the game there. We are going to go with Otani for this game because, of course, Dontro Willis has pretty much no stamina, even though he's only thrown, he only threw two innings last game. SDS really needs to do something with the stamina system because only after two innings, my opponent quit. Dontro Willis should not be that gassed. Curveball in the dirt. Oh, there we go. All right, nice clean inning from Otani. There we go, Howard. It's a way to start the inning. Okay. Johnny getting the hit column. Oh, we just got under that. Go back, go back, go back. He's probably thinking, oh, nice, the pitcher spot is up. This would be a nice, easy out. Um, wrong, because we have Otani. Oh, did we seriously just miss that? Oh, man. We actually timed up that slider. We just dropped our PCI. This guy does not want to throw a strike to Mike Trout. Hands off the controller. And he throws it right down the middle. Swung a ball for like a little bitch. No! That is so unfortunate. I wonder what's going on with Cody Bellinger. Like, he looked at, he's been looking atrocious the last couple seasons. He looked awful in spring training. And then he actually started to hit somewhat well at the beginning of the year. And then I think since his, ever since his two-homer game, I think he's been vastly declining again. I don't think anyone knows. Ooh, we got lucky there. Another risky pitch. 
See, like, why is the screen shaking when he puts the ball in play? No, oh, Tim! You deserve better. At some point this game, I would love to go back-to-back -back with Trout and Salmon. That'd be the coolest thing ever. All right, we'll take another base hit with Pujols. All right, come on, Corey. Corey? Come on. No, oh, we're just off that. Yeah, I don't think that's... Nope. We're timing up a lot of these pitches pretty well. We're just... Our PCI is just a little off. Oh, that's got to be gone. Yeah. Ronnie. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. Ryan with another base hit. Two for two around the game. Here's Johnny. Ho, ho. Oh, that could not have been any more perfect. Mike, I'm really sorry I didn't start you, but I'm low-key glad because Johnny is fucking this baseball up today. Is that another bit? Oh, nope, there's that dive. Dude, dives are so broken this year. It's such an adrenaline rush when you get the dive to work in your favor, but when the dive happens against you, it's not as fun, even though it's still pretty cool. Okay. Another strikeout for Otani-san. So apparently, I don't remember if it was today or yesterday, but when the White Sox were facing the Angels, the person in the White Sox clubhouse who was in charge of writing the, the, the lineup card, he wrote Otani's name in Japanese letters. And I thought that was really cool. Oh, this guy's already taken Bueller out. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised. Oh, Seager, we gotta get there, buddy. I don't know why that's Seager's ball, but he's there. So let's see who he brings in. See if he's just gonna use the bullpen the rest of the game if he's going. This guy's quitting. He left Joey Bart on the mound. Yep. See ya, N War Ward 34. I know we only played, what, five innings between those two games because we had the rage quits, but I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. But the all rookie of the year team build gets it done. We get not one, but two rage quits to start off this new rank season. So let me know down below what other videos you'd like to see from me. They could be debuts, team builds, challenges, whatever, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Until next time, y'all are legends. Pizilla out.